see it. What's that? What are we talking about it? It's ages. But now it's like all of a sudden, oh, look, there's a planet in the sky. You know what I mean? Right, oh, YouTube. So it's 20 past 10 in the morning. Uh, so I was watching Alex Lusion yesterday. I think that's his name. Um, he's like, look, Earth planet, Earth type planet in the sky. You mean this thing? <laughs> yeah, this that little planet, it's right on top. Also, um, I did, I did have a chuckle to myself. I had a bit of a chuckle to myself, so I watched um, Dr. Albers yesterday. I like Dr. Albers, I do physicist for whatever that stands for I'm not saying that she's not educated because I'm sure she is but the more we seem to find out about the universe we more to find out that most of the science that we do or we base we base all our theories on is pretty much wrong um, but anyway yeah so I was watching Dr. Albers and I did a, I, I did chuckle look, you see, look, you see the uh, rainbow just there this thing I've been moving over the sun like it is every day. Um, yeah, so I was watching Dr. Albers and now I might be wrong, I'm not sure, but I'll look. I'll get there in a minute when I look come trailing over the rainbow bit now, let's see. Well, I did have to chuckle to myself, so I'm not sure what the relationship is between. Uh, Scott from Planet X News and uh, Dr. Albers. I don't know if they're husband and wife, partner or whatever, but there must be a big conflict of interest there. It probably makes for some really good dinner time conversation because I'm pretty much sure that Scott calls anybody like me that's seeing big planets in the sky. Like this one. Yeah, I'm sure he calls people like us lunatics and wrong because he's the gospel. He's the man that knows it all. Well, whatever she is to him, partner, whatever, wife, um, that must mean that she's wrong as well. <laughs> you see the video she posted yesterday about there's a big 
Jupiter sized planet sitting really close to Earth. Well, how do you explain that then, Mr. Sion? I don't think you can. I don't think you can. Because if I'm wrong, she's wrong. <laughs> or you're wrong. So you decide. mean Scott that we're all wrong as well and you are the only one that's right so your missus is wrong I'm wrong WSA is wrong Jeff P Alex Luge and all the rest of them seven Jim SA so either we're all wrong or could it just be possible that you're wrong because we're all right I don't know funny one that but um yeah I did I did chuckle he acts like he's the gospel all the time. The gospel. The man that knows it all. And then your missus is posting stuff, pretty much confirming what I've been saying. So, funny that. Funny. <laughs> I think they got amusing anyway. but he was just showing a little bit part of this that was poking through the clouds. So I managed to capture in a planet shaped, um, yeah, planet shaped picture. But, um, yeah, what he was showing was this. Which I've shown loads of times. Loads of times. Basically confirming again what I'm showing. funny as well because I'm showing you all what Sam Hoffman's was talking about right now I don't know Sam never met before never spoken to the guy just heard some of these things on YouTube right um, but I did see some exchanges between him and I think it was Alex Legion actually to be fair this is obviously a couple of years ago before I started seeing this thing
video, so basically he was accusing Sam of just stealing, uh, not Carlos Verada's model and just changing the names of the planets. Well, if he did that, he did that, but it doesn't, that doesn't mean that he's wrong if he's naming them something else, does it? Atu or whatever, it doesn't matter. Because to be fair, he can pretty much name them what he wants. If you lot don't believe they're there, he can pretty much name them what he wants. What is important is the fact that he was right and everyone dismissed him. Oh, I think that's really bad. Because I feel a little bit like that. All these big channels and they'll show every single day. Every single day you lot show this thing in the sky. And then what you do, you go, you go, look, look, here, there's a little dot in the sky just here. And it's a planet. Without looking at the planet, sitting behind it, this thing. <laughs> it is funny. It is. And then you half on at everybody else about cognitive dissonance. You know, you gotta let go of your dogmatic views and all this, and Steve Olsen saying all that. <laughs> Sometimes it's all right to be dogmatic. doesn't mean that you're wrong, it just means that you're passionate about something because you truly believe it, right? Yeah, like, like you, uh, what a lot of people do with religion and that, you know. Well, Sam Hoffman was right, yeah. And this community would be a lot better if we stopped shooting everybody down all the time. I'm just as bad. Like I just pick on Scott from Planet X News. Don't even know the guy. I'm sure he's probably a nice guy, but it's just that uh, how can you contradict yourself so much when your wife is seeing one thing and you're saying that that thing can't exist or be as close as it is? Um, that makes no sense to me. That means one of you's wrong, or both of you're wrong, or you're both right, which I think is probably the case. I think you're both right, Dr. Albers. You might never watch this, and if you do, I'm sure you probably. I think I'm an idiot, but there are planets, great big ones, sitting right next to Earth. And if you're a physicist and you're open-minded, you'll look into the electric universe and you'll quickly learn and see if you have two negatives next to each other. It's bad, it causes problems, right? But if you have a negative and a positive, no problem. So. These must be positive because they sit right next to Earth. They're the same thing, they come over all the time. They use the chemtrails for one thing and one thing only, to hide it from you. Look, these Jeff P calls them popcorn clouds. They're not popcorn clouds, are they? They're not. They're not. You can see it's a great big spine. Look, it's got a spine. Look, yeah. And what they do, it rotates over us all the time. These things are blue and yellow, one of them is blue and pink. There are more of them. Most of the things Alex is delusion. And that people are showing small things. This channel's showing these little, little thing here. But when you're showing that, you're just showing big meteorites that go around with this system and stuff like that, you're not showing planets, you're just showing bits of rock and moons and that, the planets are fucking right over us and they have been for a while.
You'll all see it soon enough anyway. Whether you believe me or not. I'm a fucking mad man or whatever, I am bothered. Sooner or later, you ain't got much choice. You'll see it. Sometimes it takes a bigger person to admit they're wrong. And if I end up being wrong, I'll admit it, right? I will. But if Sam Hoffman was right. <laughs> Dr. Alvarez, in her weird way, has even confirmed that Sam's right and I'm right. Go and figure that. God, I don't think you can. Hey man, what do I know?